Hello, Blake Rudis here with Everyday HDR and HDR Insider, and today we're going to talk about how you can get nice straight vertical lines in your image so you can go from something like this with these warped vertical lines to something like this, and we're not going to use lens correction. I had an individual ask me recently how to use the ruler tool in their workflow, and while I typically don't use the ruler tool in my workflow, I do use the rulers and guides very often. And that's what this tutorial is going to be about, how to use the rulers and guides and the warp tool, not lens correction, to get nice straight vertical lines in our image. Let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop and take a look at how it's done. Okay, so like I said, I recently had someone on uh, YouTube ask me about the ruler tool and if they should be using the ruler tool. Now, let's just take a look at the ruler tool and see what the ruler tool is. When we click on the ruler tool and CC, it is right here. We see the ruler tool here. There are applications for the ruler tool in prior versions of Photoshop. I believe in CS5, you use the ruler tool to straighten the horizon on an image. And you can even do that here. You can straighten specific layers. So the actual ruler tool, I don't use it very often. If I do use the ruler tool, I pretty much only use the ruler tool to measure objects and see if maybe two objects are the same size-wise. Now up here you see there's an X, Y uh, width and height. Those are specific measurements as to what this measurement is. So after you make your ruler, you could go ahead and move around and see what size certain things are. Now, I don't see that as being very helpful unless I'm doing some design work though. So I'll go ahead and clear that. What you can do is if you're doing some compositing and the layer that you bring on, you have two different layers and the layer that you bring on is not quite straight. You don't want to straighten the whole image and you don't want to try and figure it out yourself. You can just draw a straight line on that layer like I did here to find a straight line and say straighten layer and it will go ahead and straighten that layer. Now we know here in Photoshop CC that there's better ways to straighten the horizon on an image by going into the crop tool. But beyond the ruler tool, there I don't really see much application for it for myself especially in my landscape style photography, but beyond the ruler tool, let's talk about the actual rulers on your image and the ruler guides. So if you press Command or Control R, you're going to be prompted with the rulers that you're going to see up here. Now these rulers can be in inches or whatever measurement you prefer. If you prefer pixels, you can say, you can right click it and say, I prefer pixels, inches, centimeters, points, picas, percentages, yada, yada, yada. Now I actually prefer inches, okay? But why these guides are important, not necessarily because the inch measurements on your image, but if you click in the side of them and you drag them over, you can actually straighten things. Or you can't actually straighten things, but you can see if things are straight and double check your straight lines. I recently did a very extensive tutorial on this in HDR Insider. It's very helpful for a lot of individuals, and I'll kind of show you some of that here. And as you click and drag these guides over, you can see if the lines in your photograph are actually straight that should be straight. So this was a 17 millimeter lens. Clearly with the 17 millimeter lens, we're going to have some distortion in our photograph, especially when I was right in the corner taking a picture of this. I recently had some work at a restaurant called Lydia's here in Kansas City, and there's my work on the wall. And I wanted to document where the work was in the space. Not necessarily the work on the wall, but where the work fit in the environment. And looking at this with the 17 millimeter lens, you can see that there's a lot of distortion on these vertical lines. Anytime you're shooting an interior space, it's critical that your vertical lines are vertical or things are going to look odd. So we can see here that if this line is supposed to be straight, now we aren't talking about the craftsmanship of who built this, okay? I don't know if it was actually straight, I didn't have a ruler with me. But in the picture, it does not look straight. So it's gonna look weird to our eye. So what you could do to try and fix this is go up to filter and go up to lens correction. What I'm going to do here is select my 17 to 40 millimeter lens. So the camera make is going to be a Canon. The camera model, we'll just go ahead and choose all. And then for the lens model, we're going to go and choose the 17 to 40 millimeter lens, EF 17 to 40 millimeter lens, which is right here. And we'll go ahead and pick that lens profile. And then we'll go ahead and press OK and see if it fixed our problem. So let's look at the before and the after. Well, it didn't quite fix the straightness of our lines there. It did a decent job, but what it also did was, if you look here, it bowed out this portion of our uh, of our uh, ledge, and it also warped these these wine bottles quite a bit, and it makes it not look so good. Okay, so here's my trick that I use to do this. I'm gonna go ahead and press 
uh, edit and go to transform and go to warp now when I use the warp tool if you look at the warp tool let's just zoom out here real quick there's some toggles right here where you can pull these toggles in and out left and right up and down and it only pulls that one quadrant or third of the image in that direction it will affect the whole photograph if you go too far but what you can do is just pull it in pull it to the left and, and warp it to the left pull it to the right warp it to the right and this will help you get those lines straight now that's pulling just from the top of the image over with these handlebars. You also have the corners that you can pull in and warp if you'd like to also. I'll press Command or Control Z to, to undo that. And you also have these midsections where you can adjust the barrel or distortion from the center of the image. So these are all some very powerful things that you can do with the warp tool that you wouldn't really think that the warp tool could help you out with this. Uh, I used the warp tool a lot in my composites. But we can see here we can make that line straight. We can even pull in here just a little bit to get that centered and straighten that line out. So now this line over here is straight. And then we have a straight line over here right here in the corner of our building. Let's see if we can grab that toggle, that handlebar, and just pull it over until that line gets straight. And that's also gonna help us straighten out this line here. We can grab right here into this centerpiece and move that over just a slight bit. And if you offset over here, it might offset what's happening on the other side, so we might need to just pull this in and over to the left just a little bit more. So now, let's go ahead and press Enter or OK, and that will, uh, we can press Command or Control H to clear our guides and we can look at our uh, before and we can look at our after. We now have straightened lines. We don't have bottles that are warped too bad. Now we do have some warping going on over here and if we wanted to we could go edit, go right back into transform and go to warp again. Press uh, control zero to make our image kind of expand a little bit so we can see our toggles on the side and then I can just grab this toggle here, maybe move this one down a little bit so that this horizon line gets a little bit straightened out in the process. So what this does is it gives you a lot more control over uh, your image and how your image is going to be manipulated. So the lens correction, while it works in a pinch, uh, it's a profile that's set up to try and work on every photo and to be done every single time that way. And it doesn't always work that way. Sometimes you need to get in there and get your hands dirty a little bit. Now, if you see up here, we have uh, a band up here where that's basically blank information. So what we need to do is also press C for the crop tool and just crop this down just a little bit just to crop that stuff off. So a quick recap to wrap all of this up. The first thing we discussed was the ruler tool and how you could use that ruler tool as a way to measure certain things in your photograph or your image, especially in design work. We also looked at how you could use it to straighten layers during compositing. But then we looked at the practical application of pressing Command or Control R on your image to get the rulers to appear so that you could drag guides out to ensure that straight lines are straight. Now in the case of interior photography, a lot of our vertical lines are going to be the most important because those are our stable lines in, in interior as most of our horizontal lines are going to be converging into a vanished uh, perspective point. So those vertical lines are really critical to make sure that they're straight. So we then looked at lens correction, how you use lens correction to try and straighten out your image, but then proved that the lens correction doesn't always make our vertical lines straight. So then we went into the warp tool and used the warp tool to really straighten out those vertical lines to ensure that our vertical lines were straight. Again, remember, when you do that, you might get some pinching in on your image, so you have to crop it. So I'm Blake Rudis of Everyday HDR and HDR Insider. If you like this, please comment, share, and subscribe because these tutorials are coming weekly. Thank you.